Hello, I'm Pastor Matthew Verhoeg from the Valley Alliance Church, and today we're going to tackle Luke chapter 9, verses 1 to 10. This is Jesus' commission to his 12 disciples to go into all Israel and talk about the kingdom of God. It reads, And he called together the twelve and gave to them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. And he said to them, Take nothing for your journey, no staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not have two tunics. So would you say this is a model for Christian mission? We could save a whole bunch on our missions budget if we sent people out with no money. Thanks for the question, but I don't think this is a model for Christian mission. This is a specific witness about Jesus to the nation of Israel, announcing the Messiah has arrived. Healings are a specific Old Testament prophecy of a, of a time of renewal of the Messianic era. And so when they see these signs, the nation should respond and say, the king has arrived. Now, the prohibitions for money or aid are only really found here in Jesus' commission and aren't followed in the book of Acts as we go through the New Testament. So I don't think these are obligations for Christian life and mission, but they teach us some important lessons. We need nothing else but God's power and authority to accomplish everything God has called us to do. Check this out. Jesus sends them out with no staff, no physical protection, no bag, no bread, no money. So they didn't have physical sustenance, just like in the wilderness, they had to trust God for their next meal. They didn't even have two tunics, an old cloak would do. Now, Christian mission might involve careful preparations. These are bonus because the only thing necessary is God's power and authority. What's this bit about shaking off the dust from their feet mean? And wherever they do not receive you, when you leave that town, shake off the dust from your feet as a testimony against them. So when the Jewish people went from a Gentile area to a Jewish one, they would shake the dust off their feet, lest they track common dirt into God's holy land. This symbolic act that Jesus tells his disciples to do is teaching them that all who reject Jesus' kingdom are cut off from the promises given to Israel. Now, the disciples here are not judging people, but they are announcing it which is a good model for Christians because we are not to judge unbelievers, but we do warn about God's judgment. Herod wants to see Jesus, which is something we'll pick up on at the end of the Gospel of Luke. In the end, this text shows us that we have all we need as Christians to do all that God has called us to do because power and authority from God is the key.